Hello guys and welcome to our next video tutorial about learning Python async I.O. with OpenCV and today we are going to add asynchronous queue support to our project with so-called producer and the consumer um, pattern. Let's just start uh, do our code change and restructuring our project in order to use asynchronous queue. Uh, so we are starting uh, from the beginning we need this a uh, lifo queue, uh, the last in first node queue with max size, uh, say 10 for example for now. And uh, we don't need this main function anymore, we need this uh, to be called run and it will accept a loop captured object and the queue object. Um, and I'm going to equal this queue. Nice, and let's just quickly implement this run function. So this is a, of course this is an async function and it will accept the loop object, the queue object, and also this captured object. Oops. What we'll have here, uh, so I'm going to add this producer task, which is async io create task, and we will add this produce function, but for now let's just call it produce. And we'll accept this queue and the captured object. And we have this consumer task, and which is again the create task and consume. So it will accept the loop object, queue object, and of course this captured object. And let's just name our tasks. So for this, this is a producer task. Producer task. And this is a consumer task. Consumer task. And we need to evade async IO gather them together. And consumer task. So that's it for run. So what we are going to implement this produce function and this consumer function and uh, let's just do it here so what we are going to produce so our producer should read the frames and then put uh, the, the read frame to the queue that's simple so async def produce of course it needs to be um, it needs to accept the queue object and this captured object. And while true, it should run infinite. So for camera name and for captured object, in captured object, async camera generator. So, and uh, read the frame, frame. Wait, async I oops, async IO create task for this captured oops, captured object read frame and let's just name our task so it's a frame reader nice and whenever the, we read the frame from the captured uh, camera object, we want to put this frame, put this frame to the queue. So, but uh, I'm going to add this as a tuple object. So camera name and frame, nice. And for indicating that the producer is done, uh, we are going to say that async io sleep some amount of seconds. So that's it for our producer. So we read the frame, we put the fresh frame to the queue and say that, hey, I'm done. Let's just go ahead and consume it. Uh, what we have inside the consumer? I've got what uh, the everything that uh, we are, we were doing with uh, the main function. So 
let's just type the same functionality but with but with uh, some different uh, additions so async dev consume it will accept this loop object the queue object the queue object and also this captured object as an argument and of course while true and if the queue has some size so something there's, there's some frame inside this queue let's just get uh, this get this frame from the queue then immediately apply um, the timestamp timestamp to um, <coughs> to, to the, this frame and the uh, run if the times uh, uh, which is adding the timestamp to the uh, uh, to the frame will accept this queue object now this is the change uh, so here we have only accepted the frame but now we need to accept uh, the queue object itself and let's just name it so we have at a timestamp task and then we are going to um, show the frame so async io again the create task we are going to call the show frame and the show frame itself will accept the as a queue object as an argument and let's we'll just name it this is a show frame task and after that we are going to apply the face detection so this is, should be the task, task 2 and async io create task uh, running this um, blocking func and the change here is it's accepting the loop object and also it's going to accept the queue object here the rest of things should be the same. So I'm going to copy here. And for uh, indicating that, uh, hey, we have an empty queue and let's just go back and produce some frames for us. We are going again await here for async IO sleep and some amount of seconds so this is our producer function the draft of the producer function which is going to read the frames and put into the uh, queue and this is for our consumer so we are going to get the frames send this frame to this run ft time with a queue object and then uh, the showing the frame and the running this blocking function which is doing uh, some phase detection on the, that frame this is still remains the same uh, that's the basic change the first change of our code uh, we don't need any more of this uh, main function here I will delete it uh, so yeah let's just short keep this uh, video and go to the next video where we are going to make change for our show frame FD time and uh, run blocking func which are accepting the queue object so we will we are going to work with queue object inside those functions as well yeah uh, let's see you in the next video